it's funny how people will tell you that you can't love more than one person. But yes, Akon got four wives. Saddam Hussein had a hundred kids. Why do we let society tell us what we can and can't do, and yet we try to choose the things that they can't tell us what we can and can't do? When they can't, when we should let them tell us about anything, especially when it comes to love. This is why adultery is so infamous yet popular and also shouldn't go on. Not saying that you shouldn't have multiple bitches, but I'm saying we shouldn't have to lie for multiple bitches. If there's more women than there is men in the world, why in the hell should we have to cover up a secret that's an ultimately fact? There's going to always be more than one person and more than two people in a relationship almost nine times out of ten. But since nobody has told you that when you was a little girl that there are more women than men, you think that you're going to find your own husband. What if I told you that it's going to be hard for you to find a husband? And you're going to have to have more than just a pretty face, ass, and smile and some conversation. You're going to have to have a lot. You're going to have to know what the hell you're doing to keep and, and get a man. Since there are more men than there are more women than there are men. So there are more women than there are men. And ladies, you got to wake up to the end result. It's always going to be a competition to keep your man. No matter what you do, there's always out there someone better who can do it better than you. So you always have to keep the highest standard for yourself. You always have to understand that you might be sharing or may not be sharing. The unfortunate thing is, is that men lie because women don't want to accept the truth anymore. Every woman thinks she's a housewife. Every woman's not. Every woman thinks every man is a husband. Every man is not. Some men you have to wait. There's a reason why some men aren't good men until they're in their 40s because they just wasn't ready. They just wasn't ready. And they're not supposed to be ready. In your 20s and 30s, most of us are fucking up until we get about 37, 35. And then we get it right. Took my mom since she was 37 to get it absolutely right. And she's been on her way since. So with that said, people, we got to stop letting society tell us stuff because society will tell you Ebola is okay. Society tell you we're all fine. Don't worry about the thousand kids that have gotten sick in the Midwest from the from the um from the I forget the what it was the um the respiratory infection. That's what it was that's what society tells us. Society tells us to take a medication to make something better that you can find a herb for, a spice for that can make better. That's what society will tell you. Society will tell you to take a pill, kill yourself, and we can make money off of you while you die slowly. And you get just a big F you at the end of the tunnel. Because that's what society will tell you. Society will tell you to take that medication for depression. That could leave you with ulcers, stomach, asshole, bleed, mouth running. Everything you don't need to have happen. But just to fix that one thing, you will go ahead and create multiple problems. We got to stop that, people. We got to stop letting society, TMZ, dictate relationships. All these superstars out here getting divorces. Come on now. Sierra, didn't nobody want you raggedy, bald-headed ass then? Now they loving you? Somebody don't want to leave you. Why the fuck you leaving future? Tell me about it. Come on now. Ray Rice, we know your wife wasn't perfect in that situation. We know she wasn't, and I'm glad she confessed to it. I just wish people would stop giving her the easy way out with this a little bit. Yes, you can't punch and slap spit on every man and get away with it, ladies and gentlemen. And she was at fault to some of her actions. I've never seen a domestic one way, even if the wife knew she was going to get an ass whooping. She knew how to stop that ass from coming, but she did it anyway sometimes just because she was just wanted to get it the hell out the way. You know, you don't get married to a man. You've seen those aggressive signs before you got married to him. So, look, I don't even go for abusers getting divorced. I don't think domestic violence should be tolerated, but I don't think it should be lives ruined over it either. You spend every day with your co-workers and you ready to slap the shit out of them and you don't share house, car note, insurance, children, drama from work. You don't share none of this stuff in one household and you ready to beat the hell out of your co-worker. Can you imagine how you feel about your wife when she pissed you off and you got to look at her every day for the rest of your life? Can you imagine what you want to do to your husband when you got to look at him every day for the rest of your life? 
Who is being real out here anymore? Like, we're not being real about shit. You might just want to beat that bitch ass. You came home with no dinner on the table. You ain't had no hair. You ain't got no pussy in a month. What's going on? You might want to fuck that bitch up. Look, ladies, you ain't had no flowers. He forgot anniversary. This nigga act like you don't look good no more. He ain't acting like he was when he met you. And you tired and fed up and you want some real love and affection and attention. Tell me about it. But you won't keep it real, though. Who want to keep it real out here? Who, who want to keep it real?